Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how you can uh, customize your material components chips. So first uh, what you need to do, uh, you need to specify this material components uh, dependency in your Gradle build file. And uh, after that uh, let's open up our styles XML and here uh, you need to apply this material components theme uh, to your application. Okay, so after that uh, let me open this colors XML and you will see three more colors here, white, uh, medium grey and dark grey. So I have specified those uh, three new colors uh, just for the purpose of this uh, uh, project. And uh, now inside our uh, activity main layout I want to add a chip group. And uh, inside this uh, chip group I want to add uh, two more chips. Okay, so this will be just for the example purposes of course. And let's add uh, another one as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to select this chip group and I'm going to constrain that uh, on the top and left and I'm going to set uh, uh, constraints to 30. Okay, and uh, now inside our XML code I want to add a text for those two chips. So the first one will say cake and the second one will say uh, chocolate. So this is just an example of course. And uh, we want to apply a style for those chips and I'm going to specify a default style for, a, for this uh, chip filter. So you can use a different uh, style, uh, style chips as well, but in this uh, case I'm going to use those uh, filter chips. So uh, let me run the app and let's see how uh, they look in their uh, default style. Okay, so now you can see uh, when we select one of those, uh, this uh, checkmark icon will appear on the left side. And uh, their style is pretty much simple and default, uh, colored in uh, grey, but uh, we're going to change that in an elegant way, so don't worry. And before that uh, I want to just specify this uh, single selection behavior. So now inside our chip group uh, we will be able to select just uh, one uh, chip at a time. So this is just uh, an example of course, okay. And uh, after that uh, you need to open up a styles XML and here we're going to create a new style for our uh, chip. So let's name this uh, style uh, custom chip style and uh, the parent will be uh, material components chip dot filter. So you need to specify the exact same uh, chip uh, which you're using and in this case I'm using a uh, filter chips. So I have specified this uh, chip dot filter. And uh, here we will add a few lines of code but for that uh, you, we need to create uh, new Android resource directory with a type of uh, color. Okay, select that and click OK. And inside this uh, color uh, directory we need to create a two color resource files. So the first one uh, will be named uh, chip uh, background color. And in this file we're going to customize a background color for our chip. And in the second uh, file we will uh, uh, we will name that file a chip text color and we're going to customize uh, the text color of our chips. Okay. So first inside our chip background color we are going to create two more items. And the first item will have the color of medium grey and uh, the state checked will be to false. So that means that this medium grey color will be applied to a background where uh, when our chip is not in the selected state. And the second uh, item will be applied when our chip is actually in a selected state. Okay, so it's simple as that. And now inside our uh, styles XML file we want to uh, reference this uh, custom made uh, uh, chip background color. So let's uh, call this uh, chip background color and here let's specify our chip background color XML file which we just created and let's uh, specify this uh, style on our uh, activity main layout. So instead of this uh, default style uh, we will specify our custom made style. So here just uh, specify a uh, custom chip style. Okay and uh, replace this default style on the other chip as well. So uh, let's run the app and let's see uh, if that's going to work. So as you can see when we select uh, one of those chips the background color will change. As you can see when we select the chip it will change the color to this uh, uh, purple color and when we don't select that it will have the background color of a medium gray which we have specified already. And inside this uh, chip text color XML file we want to add uh, two more items. So the first item will have the color of dark grey and it will be used when our uh, chip uh, is uh, not checked. And the second color of white will be used when our chip is actually in the checked state. So uh, 
Now, uh, inside our styles XML, uh, we want to add a new item of uh, Android text color. And here we want to specify our custom-made XML file. So let's run our app and let's see uh, if our text color will change. Okay, so select one of those. As you can see, the text color is changed as well. So when our chip is selected, we can see the, the white color. And when our chip is not selected, we can see this uh, dark gray color. But there is uh, one more issue. So our icon color uh, does not change. So how can we uh, fix that? Well, easily. So uh, the only thing you need to do, uh, you need to open this styles XML and we need to add uh, one more item for that purposes. But first I want to change this medium gray um, to a little bit uh, lighter gray color. So this is just my personal preference, okay. And now uh, the background color uh, looks uh, a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can notice that, but uh, still it's okay. And uh, after that, uh, I want to open this uh, styles XML and uh, I want to add a new item here. So I'm going to say uh, checked icon tint and I want to specify a white color. So basically that means that uh, whenever our chip is uh, checked, then this uh, icon will change its color. So as you can see now it looks uh, fine and uh, i want to also show you uh, one more thing and that is uh, how you can change this uh, ripple color effect so when you click and hold on one of those chips you can see the ripple effect and i'm going to show you now how you can change and specify uh, your custom color for that so uh, first uh, inside our color xml i want to create a new color named uh, white alpha and basically i want to add uh, two numbers in front of this uh, hex code and that is a number of 10 and basically that number uh, of those two values will be used as uh, an opacity for this uh, color. So basically that means that our color of white uh, will be used in a 10% of visibility and uh, that color we are going to apply to our ripple effect. So here uh, we need to specify an uh, attribute named the ripple color and we want to uh, set the color to white alpha which is a 10% visibility of our white color. So let's run the app and let's see uh, how that looks. So as you can see, when I click and hold on uh, one of those chips, uh, the white color will show, but uh, I don't know if you can uh, see that uh, clearly. In the previous example, uh, the black color was a uh, ripple effect color, but now we have changed that to white. And uh, even though you can't see, it uh, actually works. So uh, that will be all. And now in this video, you have learned how you can customize your material component chips, how you can change their background color, text color, uh, icon color, and of course, a ripple effect color as well. So uh, that will be all for this video. Uh, thank for watching. Please uh, like this video if you find it helpful, of course. It means a lot to me. And uh, see you in the next one. I die, I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest.